before the game, and he said, I'd like to play. He said, I don't think I'm going to. See, he told me he was going to play. Oh, okay. All right. Short kick. Able to hit. One, San Antonio. Spurs have a front line of Duncan, Robinson, and Ferry, Bowen, and Parker at the guards. Off the turnover, here comes Pippen. Five points. Also has eight assists. 56-51, Spurs. Wells had to give it up. Here's Kemp. 55, San Antonio. Pippen posting. Davis. Kemp on the box out. Good play by Kemp. TNT earlier, the Nets over the 76ers, 88 to 80. Um, Danny doesn't realize he's causing it. He's one of those guys like just hit you with an elbow accidentally. Wells, the tip by Kemp. Here's Duncan over Kemp. Robinson with the rebound. Knocked out of his hands. Last touch by the Blazers. And they get a new shot clock on that, so they still have 22 seconds remaining on the 24 second clock. If they're going to pay extra special attention to Tim Duncan down low. Duncan lost it. Scotty Pippen at 12, and uh, what a job defensively by Sean Kemp in the second half against uh, Tim Duncan. Let's go to Craig out on the court. Well, Bonzi was tied at 87. What'd you do at the end to turn things around? Well, we just start playing good team defense. You know, Tim Duncan started out, you know, playing well, hitting a lot of shots close, and, you know, we told Kemp at halftime we need him to press, put some body on him, make it tough on him, and everything else take care of itself, and it did. Tim Duncan looked unstoppable in the first half. Mo Cheek says, I'm going to put Sean Kemp on him. If that doesn't work out, to try something. Second half, he had three field goals and four turnovers. What did you do to frustrate him? Well, I tried to front him a little bit, deny him the ball. I think he got a little frustrated, but, you know, we all know we can't stop Tim Duncan on a night-to-night -night basis. Everybody had a good nights and a bad nights. He started off good. He had a bad second half, but he'll bounce back. How concerned are you with Rasheed Wallace's injury? Well, we were very concerned. You know, Rasheed's our man. He's our go-to guy. But, you know, in the games like this, when we play without him, everybody step up. I mean, we should be fine without him on some occasions, but we need him back very bad. But, you know, if we don't have him, I know guys like Sean and Dell is going to step up every night. Lakers on the horizon Friday night. Let's go back to Marvin Mike. 